Hey everybody, Brantley here with Big Idea Design. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to adjust the pocket clips along our pin collection. So there's really only a few different ways to remove the pocket clip on each of our pins. Um, on all of our mechanism driven pins that have a click, so a click EDC, the mini click, dual side click, and mini dual side click, uh, they use a three tooth spanner on the end, this little ring next to the button. Since that is a proprietary spanner, we are going to include that in the package with each of our pins. So to remove your pocket clip, simply take the three tooth spanner, go right over top of the click mechanism, and you're just gonna loosen it. That comes right off. Then you take your clip off. And I went ahead and pre-bent this clip out so that it is pretty loose. And so all you're gonna do is take your clip by itself, take some pliers, you wanna grab it just past the ring, pretty close to the 90 degree bend, and you're just gonna press back in. Just a little bit less than 90 degrees is what you're shooting for. So that will, when you add tension here, this piece will actually press against the body of the pin. That is actually what's gonna give you the best tension and, uh, and even keep it more tight from side to side as well. So after you've got it bent, simply reinstall it, put back over the click mechanism. Reinsert the end cap. I like to just get it finger tight. And then grab your three tooth spanner back over top and snug it down. So that way I've got some nice retention. It's nice and straight. If it is crooked from side to side, this one actually is just a little bit, you can just grab and push it in just a little. There we go, much better. So that's for all the click pins. Anything that is a capped pin, which is gonna be the Arto EDC, the Fountain EDC, um, and the Ultra, they're all very, very similar. This is a Fountain EDC. Just inside the cap, there's just a flat head screw. And so use a 3 16 flat head screwdriver, and you're gonna go right down the middle. Sometimes finding the flat head can be a bit challenging just because you're flying in the dark. There we go. So now it's locked in. I'm just going to hold the cap with my hand and loosen. So going to the left. So here, this is where it is a little tricky. Um, this is a reverse thread screw. So that way when you're loosening and tightening, you're doing it from the inside. So keep that in mind. So here I'm actually going to tighten. So go to the right to remove it. There we go. And then after I'm done making my adjustments, just the way I did with the last pin, I'm gonna go back in again, this is reversed thread. And so you're going to turn to the left, which feels like you're loosening, but you're actually tightening. And then, again, finger tight, find that flat head. Oh, there it is. And hold it tight and snug. And you're back in business. Very, very similar process on the Pocket Pro, but instead of in the cap, it's through the body of the pin. So, you're gonna remove the grip section and the refill in the spring. Same thing, 3 16 Just like the cap pin, this is reverse thread from the outside. So on the inside, here we go. Inside you're gonna loosen, comes right off. Try not to lose it. And then when you're done making your adjustments, again, reverse thread. So it's gonna feel like you're loosening it, but you're actually tightening it down. There we go and righty tighty. Good to go. And on our bolt action pins, they actually use a Torx driver. This is a normal bolt action pin. This is a T8 screw. This is a T8 screw that holds the end cap in. So I'm gonna take a T8 screwdriver and just back that screw out. Try not to lose it. And your end cap comes off, clip comes off with it. Make your adjustments just like the first pin. So for these, I actually like to insert the end cap. They come factory set up with the bolt to the right, but this is reversible. So if you want the bolt to the left, you can flip it around here. Put that back on first. Then I like to take my clip and slide it into that slot. This is the only pin you can do this with. And back through, tighten that T8 up. The slim bolt action um, is a little bit larger screw, I believe it's the T25 off the top of my head. 
And that one uh, does come with a tool because you do need two Torx drivers to operate the Slim Bolt series. So you have a, a, a two-sided tool um, that's an L-shape that is a T25 on one side and a T6 on the other because you use that T6 for the internal adjustment of the body length and then you use the T25 to remove the end cap. So, so that does come with it. That is the one caveat with the uh, Torx drivers that the Slim Bolt Action does come with the tool you need. And that pretty much sums up how to adjust the pocket clip. The only difference, like I said, is depending on what pin you have, is just how, how you remove the clip. Um, so hopefully that answers any questions you may have. If you need anything else, please reach out to us at support at bigeyedesign.com and thank you again.